Ladies and gentlemen, this is Patrick from the Groovesell team. In this video, I'm going to introduce how PolyLB functions in the layer 2 mode. So, let's assume that there is a Kubernetes cluster of three nodes, the master node, worker 1 and worker 2. And a service backed by two pods is deployed in the Kubernetes cluster. So at this moment, external clients cannot access the service and the service can only be accessed from within the Kubernetes cluster because the service IP address is actually a virtual IP address which means the service IP address is not bound to any physical devices and it's nothing more than a piece of data in the etcd database of Kubernetes and the router does not know where to route traffic bound for the service IP address because the service IP address is not in its routing table so we need a mechanism that can tell the router to route all traffic bound for the service IP address to one of the nodes in the Kubernetes cluster. So here comes PolyLB. After PolyLB is installed in the Kubernetes cluster, it sends an ARP packet to the router and tells the router, if you receive any traffic bound for the service IP address, please send the traffic to the Kubernetes cluster node that has this MAC address. So when traffic bound for the service IP address reaches the router, the router forwards the traffic to worker 1 in this example. After the traffic reaches worker 1, it's forwarded to the service and its backend pods over Kube proxy. So by using this mechanism, external clients can access the service. And I want to remind you of two limitations of the layer 2 mode, which you should be aware of if you are using the layer 2 mode in a production environment. First. Let's imagine what would happen if Worker 1 fails. Well, if Worker 1 fails, PolyLB sends another ARP packet to the router and tells the router to send all traffic bound for the service IP address to Worker 2 and thereby rebuilds the connection to the service. So this is a failover mechanism. The limitation is that there is a failover interruption, which means the service is unavailable during the failover, which could be a problem for systems that are sensitive to the availability. The other limitation is that in the layer 2 mode, all traffic is always sent to a certain node first and then forwarded to other nodes over Kube proxy. Therefore, the service bandwidth is limited to the bandwidth of a single node, which is a bandwidth bottleneck. So this is how PolyLB functions in the layer 2 mode. Thank you for watching. For more information about PolyLB, you can visit polylb.io.